Why do so many struggle with emotional maturity in today's world? Despite having access to countless resources, books and self-help guides, the vast majority of people still fail to achieve true emotional maturity. The truth is, most people will never get there, and there's a fundamental reason why. While society places an immense value on emotional expression, very few people are actually taught how to manage and regulate their emotions in a productive way. Instead, we are often encouraged to indulge our feelings, let them flow freely without restraint, and react impulsively to whatever life throws our way. But is that really the path to emotional growth? The reality is that achieving emotional maturity requires more than simply acknowledging your emotions. It demands discipline, self-control, and the ability to reflect on your feelings without letting them dictate your actions. This is where most people get it wrong. Without the tools to master their emotional responses, they fall into patterns of reactivity, constantly at the mercy of external circumstances. They chase happiness through fleeting moments of pleasure, avoid discomfort at all costs, and seek validation from others rather than developing their own internal sense of calm and confidence. And this is where Stoicism comes in. The ancient philosophy of Stoicism offers a powerful framework for developing emotional maturity. Stoic thinkers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus understood that true strength comes from mastering your inner world. Stoicism teaches us that while we cannot control what happens around us, we can always control how we respond. Emotional maturity is about recognizing this distinction, cultivating self-awareness, and learning to stay grounded even when faced with challenges. In this video, we're going to dive into why most people never achieve emotional maturity and how Stoicism provides the roadmap to get there. You'll discover practical techniques that will help you build emotional resilience, regulate your emotions, and navigate life with a sense of calm and purpose. Stay tuned. By the end of this video, you'll see why most people are missing out on the key to emotional growth and how you can start developing it today. What is emotional maturity? Emotional maturity is often misunderstood and can be easily confused with simply growing older or having life experience. However, true emotional maturity is far more than that. It refers to an individual's ability to understand, manage and respond to their emotions in a way that is both healthy and constructive. It's about being in control of how we react to the ups and downs of life rather than letting our emotions control us. Someone who is emotionally mature is able to remain calm, even in stressful situations, and approaches emotional challenges with patience, understanding, and self-awareness. At its core, emotional maturity involves emotional intelligence, which includes the ability to recognize and understand your own feelings, as well as the emotions of others. It's not about suppressing your emotions or ignoring them. Instead, it's about recognizing them, processing them, and responding in a thoughtful and appropriate manner. For example, if someone is criticized at work, an emotionally immature person may react impulsively either by getting defensive, angry, or shutting down. On the other hand, someone with emotional maturity might take a moment to reflect on the criticism assess whether it's valid, and respond calmly, using it as an opportunity for growth. One of the key components of emotional maturity is self-regulation. This means having the ability to control impulsive reactions, pause before responding, and manage emotional outbursts. People who are emotionally mature don't allow their emotions to dictate their behavior. Instead, they maintain composure, and think critically about how to handle situations that trigger strong emotions. This level of emotional control allows them to navigate difficult conversations, confront conflict, and deal with stress more effectively. Another important aspect of emotional maturity is taking responsibility for one's emotions. 
immature individuals tend to blame others for how they feel. They externalize their emotions, believing that their happiness or unhappiness is caused by people or circumstances outside of themselves. However, emotionally mature people understand that they are responsible for their own emotional state. They know that while external factors can influence their feelings, how they choose to respond is entirely within their control. The ability to empathize with others also plays a major role in emotional maturity. Emotionally mature individuals are able to step outside of their own perspective and consider how others might be feeling. They don't let their own emotions cloud their judgment and they approach interpersonal relationships with a sense of understanding and compassion. This helps them maintain healthy, balanced relationships, both personally and professionally. Why is emotional maturity important? In today's fast-paced world, emotional maturity is essential for success and personal well-being. Without it, people often find themselves overwhelmed by stress, unable to cope with setbacks, and frequently involved in unnecessary conflicts. Emotional maturity allows individuals to stay grounded, make better decisions, and face challenges with confidence. It contributes to greater resilience, improved mental health, and deeper, more meaningful connections with others. In short, emotional maturity is about mastering the art of managing your emotions rather than being managed by them. It's a lifelong journey, but one that's essential for personal growth success, and living a fulfilling life. Common Misconceptions About Emotional Maturity There are several widespread misconceptions about what it means to be emotionally mature, and these misunderstandings can prevent people from developing true emotional maturity. One of the most common misconceptions is that emotional expression is the same as emotional maturity. In today's culture, people are often encouraged to freely express their emotions, sometimes without regard for context or consequence. While being in touch with one's feelings is important, emotional maturity isn't about venting or reacting impulsively. Instead, it involves reflecting on emotions and choosing how to express them thoughtfully. Expressing anger or frustration without restraint might feel cathartic, but it doesn't mean you are in control of your emotions. Another misconception is that emotional maturity means suppressing emotions or avoiding them altogether. Some believe that to be mature, one must detach from their emotions completely, viewing feelings as a weakness. Stoicism is often misinterpreted in this way, as though Stoics advocate for emotional numbness. However, true stoicism and emotional maturity involve acknowledging emotions without letting them take over. It's about responding to emotions in a balanced way rather than pretending they don't exist. Suppressing emotions only leads to greater internal conflict and emotional outbursts later on. A third common misconception is that emotional maturity can be achieved through external validation. Many people think that as long as they are liked or approved of by others, they must be emotionally mature. They base their self-worth on external factors like praise, attention or status, believing these markers define their emotional development. However, relying on others for validation often leads to emotional instability. Emotional maturity comes from within. It requires developing an internal sense of self-worth and confidence that is not dependent on external opinions. Only by recognizing and controlling your own emotions without being swayed by others can you achieve true emotional maturity. The challenges that can prevent emotional maturity Several pervasive challenges hinder people from achieving emotional maturity often trapping them in cycles of emotional reactivity and instability. One major challenge is the culture of instant gratification that permeates modern society. In an age where technology offers immediate rewards and quick fixes,
people are accustomed to seeking rapid satisfaction for their desires and needs. This constant pursuit of instant gratification can undermine the development of emotional maturity. When individuals are used to getting what they want immediately, they struggle with patience and self-control. Emotional maturity requires the ability to endure discomfort and delay gratification, allowing time for self-reflection and thoughtful responses to emotional triggers. Without this ability, individuals may find themselves reacting impulsively rather than responding with maturity. Another significant obstacle is the influence of social media, which exacerbates emotional volatility. Platforms designed for instant communication and sharing often promote comparison and competition, leading to heightened emotional responses. Social media can create unrealistic standards and pressure to conform, contributing to feelings of inadequacy and insecurity. The constant exposure to curated images of success and happiness can lead to emotional instability as individuals measure their own lives against idealized portrayals. This external validation can be a significant barrier to emotional maturity, as individuals may base their self-worth and emotional stability on external approval rather than internal self-assurance. The lack of self-awareness is another challenge that prevents emotional maturity. Many people navigate life without a deep understanding of their own emotional patterns and triggers. Without self-awareness, individuals may find it difficult to recognize how their emotions affect their behavior and relationships. This lack of introspection can lead to reactive behaviors and unresolved emotional conflicts. Developing emotional maturity involves a commitment to self-reflection and understanding one's emotional responses, which can be challenging in a fast-paced world that often prioritizes external achievements over internal growth. Lastly, societal expectations and norms can contribute to emotional immaturity. Often, society encourages people to suppress or deny their emotions rather than addressing them constructively. There's a cultural emphasis on being strong and composed, which can discourage individuals from exploring and processing their emotions openly. This can lead to a buildup of unresolved feelings and a lack of emotional resilience. Emotional maturity requires breaking away from these societal pressures and embracing a more nuanced approach to emotions, one that values understanding and managing emotions over simply appearing emotionally controlled. These challenges create barriers to emotional maturity, making it difficult for many to achieve true emotional growth. Addressing these obstacles requires a conscious effort to cultivate patience, self-awareness, and a balanced perspective on emotions. How Stoicism can influence your path to emotional maturity. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy founded by Zeno of Citium, offers a profound framework for developing emotional maturity by teaching individuals how to master their inner world and navigate external challenges with resilience and composure. At the heart of Stoicism is the principle of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. This fundamental concept is crucial for emotional maturity. Stoics believe that while we cannot control external events, we can control our responses to them. By focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, attitudes and actions, Stoicism helps us build emotional stability and avoid being overwhelmed by circumstances beyond our influence. One of the key Stoic techniques for achieving emotional maturity is practicing self-control. Stoicism teaches that our reactions to events are within our power, and by exercising self-discipline, we can manage our emotional responses more effectively. This involves pausing before reacting, assessing our emotions, and choosing a response that aligns with our values and rational thought. For example, if faced with criticism, an emotionally mature Stoic would reflect on the criticism objectively, determine if it is valid, and respond thoughtfully rather than reacting defensively or emotionally. 
this practice of self-control helps prevent impulsive behavior and fosters a more measured approach to handling emotional triggers. Another important Stoic concept is the practice of negative visualization. Stoics recommend visualizing potential challenges and difficulties in advance, not as a means of pessimism, but to prepare mentally for adversity. This technique helps individuals anticipate and accept possible setbacks, reducing the emotional impact when these challenges arise. By mentally rehearsing difficulties, one can approach them with greater resilience and emotional maturity. Understanding that while we may not be able to avoid difficulties, we can choose how to face them. The stoic idea of focusing on the present moment also plays a crucial role in emotional maturity. Stoicism emphasizes living in accordance with the present rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. By concentrating on the present moment, individuals can better manage their emotional responses and avoid being consumed by regrets or anxieties. This focus on the here and now helps cultivate a sense of calm and purpose, allowing for more thoughtful and balanced reactions to life's challenges. Additionally, Stoicism teaches the importance of virtue and living in harmony with one's values. By aligning our actions with virtues such as wisdom, courage and justice, we create a strong foundation for emotional maturity. Living virtuously provides a sense of inner fulfillment and stability as our actions are guided by principles rather than transient emotions or external validation. This alignment with core values helps individuals maintain emotional equilibrium and make decisions that reflect their true self rather than being swayed by momentary feelings. In summary, Stoicism provides valuable guidance for developing emotional maturity through its emphasis on self-control, negative visualization, present focused living and alignment with virtue. By applying these Stoic principles, individuals can achieve a deeper understanding of their emotions, enhance their ability to manage them and navigate life's challenges with greater emotional resilience and composure. Five Key Stoic Techniques for Developing Emotional Maturity Developing emotional maturity through Stoicism involves incorporating practical techniques that help manage and regulate emotions effectively. Here are five key Stoic techniques that can significantly enhance emotional maturity. 1. Practicing Negative Visualization one of the most effective Stoic techniques is negative visualization, which involves mentally preparing for potential setbacks and challenges. By imagining worst-case scenarios, you can reduce the shock and emotional impact when difficulties arise. This practice isn't about fostering pessimism, but about strengthening resilience and accepting that adversity is a natural part of life. When you anticipate possible obstacles, you can approach them with a more balanced mindset, ready to handle them with composure rather than being caught off guard. 2. Embracing the dichotomy of control. The stoic principle of the dichotomy of control is fundamental to emotional maturity. It teaches that we should focus only on what we can control, our thoughts, attitudes and actions, while accepting what is beyond our control. By understanding and internalizing this concept, you can avoid unnecessary stress and frustration over external events that you cannot change. This focus helps you maintain emotional stability as you concentrate your energy on areas where you can make a difference rather than being overwhelmed by factors outside your control. Three. Practicing self-reflection through journaling. Stoicism encourages self-reflection as a means of gaining insight into one's emotional responses and behaviors. Journaling is a powerful tool in this regard, allowing you to document your thoughts, reactions and progress. Regular reflection helps identify patterns in your emotional responses, understand your triggers 
and assess whether your actions align with your values. By writing down your experiences and reflections, you can gain clarity and make conscious efforts to improve your emotional maturity. 4. Cultivating Voluntary Discomfort Another Stoic practice is voluntarily embracing discomfort or challenges to build mental resilience. This might involve taking on tasks that push you out of your comfort zone, such as physical exertion or enduring minor inconveniences. By intentionally facing discomfort, you develop greater emotional strength and adaptability. This practice teaches you to remain calm and composed in the face of adversity, reinforcing your ability to handle emotional stress with maturity. 5. Applying Rational Perspective Stoicism emphasizes the importance of rational thinking and maintaining perspective. When confronted with emotional situations, Stoics advise stepping back and assessing the situation objectively. This involves questioning whether your emotional response is proportionate to the actual circumstances and whether it aligns with reason. By applying a rational perspective, you can prevent emotional overreactions and respond to situations in a more measured and mature manner. These stoic techniques, negative visualization, the dichotomy of control, journaling, voluntary discomfort and rational perspective offer practical tools for developing emotional maturity. By incorporating these practices into your daily life, you can enhance your ability to manage emotions effectively, respond to challenges with composure, and achieve a greater sense of emotional balance. Why most people give up on their journey to achieving emotional maturity? Achieving emotional maturity is a complex journey and many people fall short due to several common factors that inhibit their growth. One significant reason is a lack of discipline and commitment. Emotional maturity requires ongoing effort and self-discipline, qualities that many individuals find challenging to maintain consistently. People often seek quick fixes or temporary solutions rather than engaging in the sustained self-reflection and practice needed to develop emotional control. This lack of discipline leads to a superficial understanding of emotions and prevents meaningful progress. Another reason is the over-reliance on external validation. In today's society, there is immense pressure to seek approval from others and measure self-worth based on external factors such as success, appearance, or social media feedback. This external focus undermines the development of internal self-awareness and confidence, which are crucial for emotional maturity. Individuals who base their emotional stability on others' opinions often struggle with fluctuating self-esteem and emotional volatility, making it difficult to achieve genuine maturity. Resistance to change is also a significant barrier. Emotional maturity involves confronting and altering deeply ingrained habits and patterns of behavior. Many people are reluctant to face these uncomfortable truths and prefer to stay within their comfort zones. This resistance to change prevents them from addressing underlying emotional issues and embracing new, more mature ways of responding to challenges. Finally, Societal norms and cultural expectations can obstruct emotional growth. Many cultures emphasize stoicism and emotional suppression, discouraging individuals from exploring and processing their emotions fully. This creates a facade of emotional control while internal struggles remain unaddressed. True emotional maturity involves breaking away from these superficial norms and adopting a more nuanced approach to managing emotions. These factors collectively contribute to why most people fail to achieve emotional maturity. Overcoming these obstacles requires a commitment to self-discipline, internal validation, openness to change, and a willingness to challenge societal expectations. As we've explored throughout this video, 
Achieving emotional maturity is a transformative journey that requires commitment, self-discipline, and the application of Stoic principles. By understanding the common misconceptions and challenges, and by embracing practical Stoic techniques, you can significantly enhance your emotional maturity and resilience. But the real work begins now, putting these insights into practice in your everyday life. Take a moment to reflect on which of the Stoic techniques discussed resonated most with you. Is it the practice of negative visualization that you find intriguing? Or perhaps the idea of embracing voluntary discomfort to build resilience? Whatever it is, start by choosing one technique to focus on. Set a small, achievable goal to incorporate this practice into your daily routine. For instance, you might begin journaling your emotional responses and reflections each evening, or practicing mindfulness to stay focused on the present moment. Remember, the journey toward emotional maturity is not an overnight process. It requires patience and persistence. Don't be discouraged by setbacks or challenges along the way. Instead, view these moments as opportunities for growth and learning. Each step you take toward understanding and regulating your emotions brings you closer to a more balanced and mature emotional state. I encourage you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. How do you plan to implement these stoic techniques in your life? What challenges do you anticipate and how do you plan to overcome them? Engaging in this conversation not only helps you commit to your personal growth, but also connects you with others who are on a similar journey. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on Stoicism and personal development. Click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And remember, emotional maturity is a continuous journey, one that is well worth the effort for a more fulfilled and resilient life. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.